everyone, it's Miss Tanisha with Blue Sky Sun here to share an awesome science activity with you called ant food. The question is, what kind of food do ants like best? So our supplies are listed for you here. You'll need three to five index cards, a hand lens, three to five small rocks, and we'll use those once we get outside to hold down our papers, a recording sheet, a pencil, three to five plastic cups or containers, some water that I have here in this cup, a teaspoon right out of your kitchen drawer, and some food choices. Today I've chosen sugar, salt, and peanut butter. You can choose whatever you have in your pantry to use as your food source. I also have a couple of cotton balls, and I'm going to tell you exactly why. For my food choice of sugar, the easiest way to prep that is to get a cup, your clear plastic cup, and add in four tablespoons of water. Count with me. One, two, three, four. And I'm also going to add in easily about four teaspoons of sugar. I have these little sugar packets. I'm just going to pour them straight in. And give that a little stir with my teaspoon. And I am going to stick one of these cotton balls inside so that it absorbs the water and the sugar. So while that's happening, I'm going to set up my second one. For my salty element, I chose to get grab some saltine crackers. Couldn't find the salt shaker. So like I said, whatever you have in your pantry. I'm going to open up this saltine packet, if it cooperates. And I'm going to crush up these crackers into my container. And add those four teaspoons of water. One, two, three, four. Crush it up. So all the salt, all the material from the cracker gets mush down in there. Pretty yucky, but science gets messy. And now I'm going to stick my second cotton ball into the cup to absorb that salty water. I already have my peanut butter here on a spoon. And on my index cards, I've labeled what's going to go on each of them. Sugar, salt cracker, and peanut butter. For my peanut butter, I'm just going to smear that right in the middle. And now that my sugary cotton ball has absorbed all that great sugar water, I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of it out and put it onto my index card, my salty cracker cotton ball has absorbed the salty water. I'm gonna put that onto the salted cracker or you can just take the cracker itself and set it up there. Your choice. Here's the fun part. You get to take these outside and go on a hunt for ants. You have your handy dandy magnifying glass or hand lens to find out where are the ants living near your house. Take these three sheets and sit them together in a space where you think you've seen some ants. Now let them stay there for about 30 minutes. You, then you'll come back with your magnifying glass and your ant food data recording sheet and count how many ants have crawled onto each paper. So I'll look down close. I see 10 ants, yep, on my sugar sheet. So I'm going to record down my food was sugar and the actual number was 18, what I did forget to do was make a prediction. So once you set them out, predict how many ants you think are gonna be on each sheet. Can't wait to find out your results and what food you select. Please make sure to share your video of your experiment with hashtag think outside with blue sky.
Till next time. Happy